Hi guys, Brain here, and welcome to another commentary video. I know background's a little different here. Hopefully that's not too scary and jarring for you. I just wanted to find a uh, situation back here that's a little bit more comfortable for me. You know, I've been making the videos on the daily. Uh, so yeah, anyways, enough of that boring stuff. Let's go ahead and get on with the video. If you like my commentary videos, make sure you do the like you like. Hit the thumbs up button. Almost put a thumbs down. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> hit the thumbs up button uh, down below. Uh, also, if you want to see more of my daily uploads, make sure you subscribe Aroni. That way you can have those actually show up on your YouTube homepage. So yeah, other than that, let's go ahead and get started. So in today's commentary video, I wanted to talk to you about a concept that is kind of hard for us. Uh, and then it's on both sides, both survivor and killer, because it's, I feel like it's the natural emotional response to do this thing, but it's actually just 100% bad because really nobody here is at fault and it, there's a greater issue at, at, at stake here. So usually, usually when we're in a situation where we fight a team that's dead hard DS unbreakable, and then it's like borrow time or iron will, and that's like a full team. We get super frustrated, right? We get super mad. And then people are still, you know, talking about the, the immense strength of like Circle of Healing, for instance, and how like the immense strength of Circle of Healing is like super crazy and how that like bothers a ton of people, like a ton, a ton of people. Um, and I think in that regard, I, 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 it makes sense that we get upset in the moment. But I think the part that doesn't make sense is when we start taking it out on the people who ran the perks. We're like, you're sweaty. You're terrible. Is it true that they're running those perks to win? Yeah, but a lot of the time they're not running the perks to necessarily be a jerk or to be mean or super sweats, but they probably run into a killer that's running, you know, Dead Man's Pain Resonance or Ruin Undying Pop, you know, like they, they've run into someone who is like, because of what they've run on the opposing side, decided to slap that on in retaliation so they can actually play the game without just getting like, just, or just hard stomped, you know? And they're trying to avoid that. Um, so I feel like we can like yell at each other back and forth. We can go at each other all we want. We can be like, ah, your fault. Are you always mean? It's the killers. It's the survivors. We can, we can yell back and forth all day. We can go into the after chat and we can be like, oh, well, you're sweaty and terrible because you ran triple slowdown. But like at the end of the day, at the end of the day, we really don't have control over these things. We just don't. Um, we don't have control over Dead Man Pain Resonance being a good combo. We don't have a control over Circle of Healing basically like just completely beating the snot out of M1 killers <laughs> that can't end chases quickly because if you uh, if you let them go, they just go heal, right? So, but like that's not like we didn't make the perk, right? Like we didn't make the perk. We didn't make any of these perks. Behavior made these perks and behavior has made a meta that's mostly encouraging people to not interact with each other and to kind of just like focus on exhaustion versus slowdown or gen rushing versus slowdown you know it's not really like a, a thrilling meta right now and it hasn't been for a really really long time but that's not like i'm saying that's like like i didn't decide that and neither did the survivors that are making you mad decide that nobody decided that uh except behavior behavior is the one who decided that you know this game at the high level is not a priority to them it's just not so they're just going to leave it the way it is um and as, as unfun and uninteresting as that may be so when you're in these situations when you are in these situations and you're mad at somebody for running a certain perk combination or bringing it like a certain overpowered map or something like that um at the end of the day the fault of that lies with behavior and it does not lie with the players like I said at the beginning of the video, I think it's like natural to want to like be mad at those people and yell at those people because obviously they're the, they're you're, they're the direct exposure. <laughs> you know, you, you are they are the reason you're directly running into these frustrating things in the game. But you got to remember that behavior is the one that put them there in the first place, and behavior is the one that's not receptive to changing them. Um, so yelling at some dude that brought it into the match who's just trying to play the game doesn't really have any sort of constructive ending to that conversation because it's not going to change and you're just making somebody else miserable so uh, at the end of the day it's it's literally just up to behavior to change these things and it's not it's not really up to us to like yell at each other or make rule books or like yell at each or shame each other like i you know mentioned at the video at the beginning of this week uh with a lot of streamers that do that um but yeah uh essentially when you're in that situation try to remember that if something has frustrated you in the game in terms of the stale meta, the 
OP perk or OP map or whatever. The, at the end of the day, that's behavior that put that in. It's behavior doesn't care, and no amount of yelling or freaking out at your fellow player is going to change that situation. So, yeah. A little bit of a shorter one today. Thank you so much for watching, friends, and I really, really appreciate you for spending uh, time with me today. And if I don't see you in the next video, I will see you when I see you. Goodbye.